practicing earlier today. So One minute. Scenario there. Two mixed doubles. Fezra and Federer. And well, Pat Rafter's joined us from the Slammers bench. Pat, just tell us uh, a little bit about this reception here today and, and being a part of that. It's loud. I wanted to film it, but we're getting problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's one court with our, with our phones, so I didn't want to film it and just sort of show it back home how it is. And tell us a little bit about how nice it is to then step out there on court and play as well as you did against a 14-time Grand Slam champion. Yeah, I did play well. I mean, obviously, uh, Pete was very, very sluggish and he, he uh, struggled with this court. It's a tricky court to play on. And uh, I actually served really well. I mean, probably... I, we, we, we spoke in the gym yesterday afternoon, you said you've just got a third body and that's all I'm going to do for the next <laughs> four matches. But I think you've played well in the vast majority of your sort of singles matches since perhaps the first one, but some of your opponents have played lights out, haven't they? I felt that way, but I just maybe think that I'm just beyond this game. You know, maybe these, these old guys are just far too good for me now. That's the way I start feeling. And Pat, tell me what it's like when you come from a big federation like, uh, you know, Tennis Australia. You've got so much money at your disposal. How do you find that balance between trying to give the players uh, enough financial aid but not give them too much at the same time trying to... Oh, with that, maybe even, even to an extent, the USCA. Mm -hmm. the, um, the one country that has done it well, though, has lost the money as a thing. So, you know, you look at that model and go, well, they've, they've probably provided their players with a lot of opportunity. Yes, I, I'm a big believer in, in working hard for your money, investing hard within your money. Uh, uh, so if you're going to spend that money, you better make sure it's the right person. And, and I want those people to um, really be aware of that. Well, Pat, uh, good luck with all of it. I hope it goes really well. I think Tennis Australia are really blessed to have somebody like yourself here in such an important position. Ah, uh, you're a good man, Robbie. Enjoy yeah. it, buddy. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Pat. See you. Well, that's a, a good start by the Macamax Indian Aces. Federer was let off the hook on the penultimate point there when he served the let, turned his back, and forgot that uh, no lets in this particular format. But uh, Sanya's keeping him honest. And having a lot of fun out there. Two I mean, he played so well over the course of the year, didn't he? He was so instrumental in bringing Switzerland to the Davis Cup final. Let me take care of that, he says to Sanya. And of course, only fitting that I guess he won the deciding match there in Lille. Good hands. Oh, yes! Magnificent tennis from the Micah Max Indian. And that guy would know a thing or two about some deft touch. Sunil Gavaskar appreciating everything that Mirza did there. Just turning that one down to third man. It's a shame. And she's played some inspired tennis throughout the competition. Gavaskar. He averaged uh, over 50, didn't he, in the test cricket? That's not bad. And uh, it's all chip. Chats in terms of he's so quick and moving, didn't touch the net there, did he? Don't think the Empire's allowed to call a touch if it's better, is he? I mean, look at his court position. Goes at the very last minute. Such explosive movement. You see the footwork there. He's on his toes all the time. They did a lot of crossing in the Davis Cup doubles, didn't they? Played really well. Yep. Bit of eye formation here. I mean, if you make once you get down on his knees, there's no double faulting. That uh, will be a first yellow for Sanya.
That's a one-horse race, Jason. I'm sorry to say. I think Sanya's got to more followers and fans uh, than the entire Swiss population. Yeah, it's uh, hard sometimes for us to comprehend coming from Europe just how big India is and how huge their sports and superstars become. And, uh, there's so few women as well that have excelled at the highest level like Sanya. Again, a bit of eye formation. very much a new experience for Rogers. It's always nice to come with him, experience that together. Oh, yes. Wonderful feeling. Of course, Rogers' father loves his talent. It's been interesting to get his opinion on what he thinks of the format and the competition overall. He is a, a real tennis aficionado, isn't he? And he doesn't only watch Rogers matches. That's the nice thing about Robbie. He watches a lot of the other. Very strong in his legs, is Federer. Sanya, could you introduce us to your new mixed doubles partner? Yeah, um, yeah, he just asked me to play Australian Open with him. <laughs> We're going to look forward to seeing that on Rod Laver Arena. Roger, welcome to Delhi. Welcome to India. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, very special to be here. Uh, Incredible stadium, great fans. Uh, I've always wanted to come play tennis here, so I'm happy this is the moment. Thank you, guys. 
You've heard about it, you've talked to the other players. What was the feeling like when you walked out here onto this court? Special, great ovation, and I really appreciate it. Uh, it's why you, you train hard for, and it's why you, I love this game, for playing in arenas like this around the world, and uh, thanks for the special reception today. It was special. Before I let you go, when was the last time you played mixed doubles? It's been a while. Um, I remember playing with, I, th I think I played three times with Martina Hingis, Martina Navratilova, and my wife. So, it's, uh, <laughs> and now Sanya. So we've done really well. They've been blessed to have a great partner. Roger, Sanya, well done. Thank you. Thank you.